Hey, I'm Eden, and I'm known as Silvermount on Tumblr. I'm from Calgary, Alberta, and I'm going to do the uh, Harry Potter voice meme for you. I'm going to start off by pronouncing the following words. Muggle, Expecto Patronum, Snitch, Deathly Hallows, Butterbeer, Firebolt, Slytherin, Marauder's Map, Stupefied, Dolores Umbridge, Knox, Whomping Willow, Hogsmeade, Luna Lovegood, Troll, Buckbeak, Ravenclaw, Chaser, Moaning Myrtle, Honeydukes, Harry Potter, Quidditch, Hufflepuff, Diagon Alley, Weasley, Hogwarts, Hermione Granger, Horcrux, Gryffindor, Nearly Headless Nick, Divination, Gringotts, Azkaban, Phoenix, Dobby, Quaffle, Dementor, Hungarian Horntail, and Dumbledore. Uh, how do you feel about the movies in comparisons to the books? Um... I feel pretty good about them, to be honest. Um, I know this isn't... I'm totally not going to sound like a true fan here, but uh, for the longest time, I hated the books. I really, really did. And it took the cinematography, the score, and a lot of everything that was in the sixth movie to make me go back and appreciate what was originally put there. Um, especially the score. Nicholas Hooper, sixth movie, gold. Um, so yeah, I I feel like they there's definitely a lot that's sort of been missed or overlooked, but I actually have quite a fondness for the movies, especially compared to the books. Um, my only complaint is I kind of wish that they focused more on the emotional end, I guess. Uh, I felt the ending of the book and the movie were just kind of blasé. But especially the movie. I mean, you could have gone in and done a really, really powerful emotional ending to the movies, and I just felt it wasn't done. And it was substituted out for a bunch of action instead. Um, Alright, what character do you compare yourself to? Um, I'm gonna go with Dean, actually. Uh, just because I kind of have this head can canon that he draws a lot. I'm an art student, kind of a Gryffindor. I am sort of that bold kind of person too, so uh, yeah, Dean. Um, what would your Patronus be? Uh, probably something feline or something snakish or maybe a crow. Crows are huge for me. Got Churchill, my crow tattoo. So there's always that, but my cats are always pretty big for me as well. Uh, would you rather have an owl, toad, or cat as your pet? Because I have a cat as my pet, I'm going to go with cat for this. Hey, sweetheart. Um, pick your mode of transportation. Thestral, broom, flu, apparition, port key, hippogriff, or dragon. I'm going to go with broom, flu, or apparition. Hello, baby. Um, they seem like the simplest form of transportation as well as the most logical for me and I mean apparition you might get slice splice splice splinch split oh I can't remember this word now you might uh, splinch yourself but it still seems pretty overall safe uh, what would you see if you looked in the mirror of Erised um, I think if I looked in it right now Probably me sandwiched between Aiden Turner and Dina Gorgeous. Uh, which Deathly Hallows object would you like to have? I think I would like to have the Elder Wand, because in the words of Cersei Lannister, power is power. And it's a fucking wand. I mean, it'd be kind of awesome. If you had the most powerful wand in the universe, I'm pretty sure you could turn yourself invisible too. Um, which character would you attend the Yule Ball with if you had the chance? Uh, Regulus Black, I think. Um, I don't know why I have such a fondness for Regulus Black, and I know he's... I just do love him. Uh, ow! You little... okay. Um, let's see. Mother fuck okay cat. Uh which what would be your favorite Hogwarts class? I think my favorite Hogwarts class would probably be Charms or Transfiguration. Uh which Quidditch position would you play? Chaser, keeper, beater, seeker, referee, or spectator? 
probably beater because I'm not the nicest person when it comes to sports. I'm usually the one diving for the ball or yelling at people to hack at other people's ankles. Yeah, I think beater sounds about appropriate for me. Uh, when did you start reading the books and first see the movies? I started reading the books in 1997 when they first came out. My grandma from England uh, sent me the book and said it was all the rage over there and she wanted me to read it. I read it and <laughs> hated it. I thought Harry was too good of a character. I was much more into Artemis Fowl, the uh, criminal mastermind. Uh, I first saw the movies when they came out in theaters and even though I wasn't a huge fan of the series at the time, I did see every movie when it came out in theaters, uh, except for the fifth movie, which I actually saw three days before it came out in theaters, in a theater, but kind of cool. Um, favorite book and or movie? I think my favorite book is prob it's probably a tie between Chamber of Secrets and The Half-Blood Prince. Um, I just really, really love, uh, the whole Salazar Slytherin and the Basilisk Mask and hearing the parcel tongue and just, oh, love it. Okay. Uh, favorite male character? Probably uh, Fred and George. Uh, if not Fred and George. No, we're just going to go with Fred and George. Favorite female character? Uh, maybe Bellatrix, I think. Or no, no, Molly Weezy. Weezy? Molly Weasley. Absolutely, 100% Molly Weasley. Uh, favorite scene in each book and movie? Fuck you, I'm not doing all of them. Uh, but for the first, my favorite scene for the first movie is when you see the staircases move for the first time and you have all the wonder in it. For the second movie, it's gotta be the scene where you hear Harry talking to the snakes. For the third movie, my favorite scene is one that wasn't in the book. It's when all the boys get back together. It's Dean, Ron, Seamus, and Harry, and, and Neville, and they're all playing around with magic candies, and they're each roaring like a lion, and it's just kind of that really beautiful friendship moment. I love it. Uh, didn't really care for too many of the scenes in the fourth. Uh, or the fifth one. Fifth one dragged for me. Oh my god. Uh, sixth one. Oi. Oi. Um, sixth one is probably the scenes in which they had in Noctum in it, as well as Drunk Harry. For the seventh movie, it would be Harry and Hermione uh, dancing to O Children by Nick Cave. And I'm not too fond of the really, really last movie. Uh, so yeah, saddest scene for me was probably Hedwig dying, to be honest. I actually cried when <laughs> Hedwig died. Um, yeah, and who do I ship? Uh, I don't really ship as many people anymore, but definitely Molly and Arthur. Uh, 100% think they were always, always, always meant to be and should always, always, always continue to be. And this was the Harry Potter voice meme for ya. I will see you guys around.